This man's brutally beautiful striking inspired the world. He challenged some of the best Muay Thai fighters under their own rules on their own turf. He achieved something that no one else ever had achieved at that time. And in doing so, he inspired future generations of strikers in all combat sports. His name, Ramon Diamond Deckers. In 1990, Deckers was only 20 years old when he knocked down the reigning Lumpini Stadium champion. Nangbon was highly regarded and he went to Amsterdam for a world title. This was where elite Muay Thai fighters went abroad to prove their dominance. But in this nationally televised bout in Thailand, Ramon Deckers showcased why so many people fear Dutch kickboxing. Against all fighters, Deckers always had an undeniable presence. If you watch some of his bouts, you will see what we are talking about here. He gives them no room to breathe, to move, to even think. He is going to be in their face the whole fight trying to knock them out. With this victory, Dek has become a celebrity as well as a target in Thailand. This led to a chain of fights against Thailand's most elite. His next great challenge would be Colburn, a man they called the Crusher, due to his granite build and thunderous power. Colburn was a two-time Lumpini Stadium champion, and like Deckers, he had devastating power in both hands. Colburn had a monster of a left-hand counter. He would often stalk down his opponent and invite them to throw a right hand. Immediately after his opponent had thrown, Coburn would reply with his famous left and have his opponents dropping like flies. In the first match between Deckers and Coburn, which took place in France, Deckers came out switching stances. Deckers would hit out of the southpaw and orthodox stance but in doing so, opening himself up for more risks. This is especially dangerous to do against the southpaw. In both stances of the switch hitter, the southpaw is far more experienced in facing them than the switch hitter. Offensively, the constant stance switches come at the cost of the ability to find timing and rhythm. And like so many fighters before him, Deckers fell victim to the legendary left hand of Colburn. Colburn had absorbed and braced Decker's powerful body shot, and when Decker's was coming in with a signature left hook, Colburn came in with a powerful left hand counter of his own. The timing of Colburn's counter allowed him to borrow the momentum of Decker's own power and use it against him. With this win, Colburn restored Thailand's national pride. After the fight with Colburn, Decker's continued to fight in Thailand's prestigious Lumpini Stadium. He was matched with Thailand's very best during the golden era of Muay Thai. The people in Thailand watched Decker's fast pace and exciting style with awe, while wanting their own Thai fighters to prove that they could knock him out, but no one could. Decker's would defeat many Muay Thai champions, but also lose several decisions. With any fight that he did not dominate, the judging and scoring favoured against him even though many speculators believe he should have won these bouts. With the ties not being able to put Deckers away, they matched Colburn against him, and this time it was at the Lumpini Stadium. The knockout artist was a heavy favourite to win this iconic fight, and when this event took place, the streets of Thailand were empty with everyone tuning in. With this match televised in both Europe and Asia, national pride was on the line for each fighter. At the time, Colburn had never been knocked out and was considered one of the very best knockout artists. But this time, Deckers no longer switched stances. He stayed in orthodox stance and launched his powerful right side attacks and patiently waited for Colburn to come towards him instead of pressuring forward. Deckers used the lead hand fight to better predict Colburn's attacks, better setting up his own rear hand strikes and his own counter attacks were also finding his rhythm and timing. 
Like a replay of the last fight, but with a different outcome, they enter a battle of left hooks again. Dekas fakes a right body shot, only to come in with an uppercut and in combination with his own money shot left hook. This time, it was him who borrowed the momentum of Colburn's left hand counter against himself. Dekas had wobbled him, and like a lion hunting his wounded prey, Dekas went for the finish, unleashing a set of flurries that he is so famous for. With no one having knocked out Coburn before, he was notoriously hard to finish, but Dekas was too ferocious, even when Coburn was dropping to the floor, he picked him up and kneed him. Coburn was out on his feet when Dekas backed off the corner. Colburn stayed there and still displayed tremendous heart by fighting back. But heart just wasn't enough, and the referee came in to start counting Colburn. In what would be the final exchange of the bout, Dekas launched an overhand elbow against Colburn's overhand left. Immediately after landing the elbow, Dekas again landed his left hook followed by a right hand as Coburn bounced back off the ropes and finished the fight. It just cannot be overstated how iconic this was. It was the very first time that a Western fighter had eaten a Thai champion in their most prestigious stadium. This win brought Muay Thai to the international stage deeply influencing the West in all major combat sports. Right before his passing, the royal family of Thailand would appoint him as the ambassador of all foreign fighters in Thailand, thanking him for his contributions to the sport of Muay Thai. There's heroes and then there are legends. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Ramon the Diamond Deckers forever changed the landscape of combat sports and we should all do our parts to remember this legend. If you enjoyed this legendary feature of Ramon, please do check out some of our other videos of the Golden Era Muay Thai Fighters. If you want to see genius level striking, we have just featured Deckers counterpart. Danny Bill. So if you are a fan, please do hit that subscribe button. Keep updated with all the legendary features we'll be releasing soon. And also, if you can, find us on Instagram for our daily breakdowns. Kind of daily, nearly every day. Thank you for continuing to watch Striking Breakdowns. My name is Lawrence Kenshin, and I'll see you in our next video. And let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Nice, eh? Very nice. Very nice. Very special also. Man. Is there a special moment you can describe it? Uh, no, I cannot describe it, but it's very special. Believe me. Um, I don't know what to say exactly, you know? But uh, this, uh, this moment, this day, was worth uh, 25 years of fighting. And uh, this, uh, this is a special... Uh, a very special thing for me. So I won't regret all those injuries I had and everything. So this makes it better. <laughs>